Hi everyone. My name is Chuck Watry and I'm a field product expert for Bro New Tone and Best. And today we're going to be taking a look at a Brown ALT 230 BLS range hood. On the purpose of the video, I'm just going to show you how to get at this motor, how to get at the LED lights and the switch assembly on this Brown product. So let's get started. Before we start getting into this hood, the number one thing you must do always is make sure the power is turned off at the breaker box to this range hood. Um, definitely make sure, you know, turn the unit on if the fan or light's working. Um, go hit that circuit breaker. Make sure the power is off when you come back to this unit. Check it with a, a meter if you have one. Um, but always make sure no power. Next, what we're going to do here is we're going to take the aluminum filters out. The aluminum filters have a what we call a finger well. And if this were mounted, what you would do is take your point and finger and you'd push back on this unit like so. And the filters would come right out. There's springs on the bottom of this unit you can see the springs right here same thing for the second filter put your finger in there pull to the back and the filter come right out so here we have the LED lights the switch assembly the blower box and the electrical box cover what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the there's one screw holding this electrical box cover in and I'm gonna go ahead and get that cover removed there is the cover you can see it was notched in on these tabs right here if you were to ever have to remove this blower assembly there are a set of screws that you need to remove there's a screw here I know it's gonna be hard for you to see and a screw here we're also going to have six nuts that you need to remove. These are 11 32nd inch nuts. And there's one here, one here, and there's two located on each side. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get these screws and nuts removed. All right. So I went ahead and took off the six nuts and the two screws, one on each side. Now this whole blower box will basically come out of this hood. Sometimes you might need the help of a a regular screwdriver where you can get behind a blower box and just kind of pull it off the studs once that blower box is off the studs what you can do is you can unplug the motor just by gently pulling on it like so and this blower box will lift on out of there this is what the blower housing looks like this is a hairpin clip if you took this hairpin clip off this wheel would just pull off just if you ever had to remove it in case a fin broke here is the back of that motor there are four little bolts that are screwed into the motor if you ever needed to replace that motor so pretty simple so I'm gonna go ahead and Put that on the side now if you ever need to get up in the nose of this hood I'm gonna set this hood down 
so you can see this is what we call a living hinge so this bracket will actually bend down so you can get up inside the unit before you try getting up inside you need to remove four screws there's one two three four and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove those four screws there's one two three and one more is four once the four screws are out this hinge will bend right down and again that's what we call a living hinge here we have the transformer the two screws holding the transformer the led lights we have access to it's going to be kind of hard to see i can kind of flip it up you can see the circuit board in here these are all connections here quick connects so you can just pull on the connections like so and the wires on plug there's two motors uh, or I'm sorry there are two screws on this circuit board there's one here and there's one right here you would remove those two screws this whole switch assembly would drop down on the inside of the unit. The LED lights, those are quick connects. You just squeeze them and they'll pop right out from the outside. But that's all there is to get to the inside of this uh, range hood. So I hope this short video helps. If you have issues or have questions, please call our technical support service. Thank you.